Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and in this episode of Barbecue Itinerary, where I talk to experts in a specific city or region, barbecue experts, about where to go if you have, say, one day or two days in that city. This one, I talked to Steve Dolinsky from ABC7 Chicago. Uh, he's from The Hungry Hound. He's from has the Feed podcast with Rick Bayless. We talk about Chicago barbecue. If you say you have one day during the week in that city or say you have uh, an entire weekend, say you come in on Friday and leave Sunday, he gives spots, uh, some uh, historical spots, some of uh, the history of Chicago barbecue places that are, are have them in, been there forever as well as uh, tried and true locations that, uh, that are go-to and you won't be let down. He also talks about some uh, Montreal smoked meat spots uh, for uh, if, you, if you're looking for uh, pastrami or Montreal smoked meats, as well as uh, a Chicago beef uh, spot that sounds ridiculously amazing. So I know you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe. I'll be adding more of these, as well as barbecue interviews and restaurant visits and tons of barbecue stuff. Thanks so much. Enjoy. Well. I I think that you know if you're in town, if you're, if you're coming to Chicago for just one day, chances are you're going to be mostly downtown. So a couple of things right in the city. Um, if it's Monday through Friday, the Revival Food Hall is a great spot because you can also get Detroit-style pizza and artisan tacos. But there's a smoke uh, stand there, and smoke actually is smoking upstairs in that building. It's like a 23-story building. They're on floor 22, and they've got the smoker up there. And so they're not having to, you know, pack it and bring it from their original store, which is way up on the northwest side of the city. So they do, and they also do smoked turkey there, which they don't do at their other lo locations. So brisket oh. turkey um, and their hot links they get from Tim McKeska, that's a great bet if you're in the loop or near downtown. And that's Monday through Friday only. Oh, perfect. Another one uh, in Bucktown, sort of Wicker Park, is Lily's Q, which I think I may have talked about before. Yes. They specialize in tri tip nobody else in town does. And Charlie McKenna is a previous champion uh, barbecue competition. He won overall a couple of years ago, best pork shoulder at uh, Memphis in May. Yes, he did. So his shoulder is worth checking out. He does four different sauces. He's the only guy that does an Alabama white sauce in town. And also the only guy that does tri-tip. And it's maybe 12, 13 minute cab ride from downtown. That's so perfect. It's oh, thank you. Great. A busy stretch of North Avenue in a cool neighborhood. So I would say Lily's Q also worth uh, a checkout in, in the same day. And then um, if you could, you'd probably go a little bit south. You wouldn't have to go really south, but you could go to Bridgeport, which is just south of downtown, kind of south of the South Loop, a place called Honky Tonk Barbecue. Um, and they kind of do, as most Chicago places do, a little bit of everything. Um, but you could do your pulled pork and your shoulder and they do pulled chicken and ribs. One more place I would say downtown is in the West Loop called Green Street Smoked Meats. Oh, okay. And I don't know that one. This is right across the street from the Soho House. It's uh, it's run by Brendan Sotokoff's company, Hog Salt. Oh. And it's their homage to Texas barbecue. You feel like you're walking into a Texas roadhouse. You know, beers are in the bathtubs and the big sinks. And they do a really, I like their ribs a lot. And I think their brisket is very good, but they also do pastrami. Ah. And it's really worth going to get a pastrami and make your own sandwich. And uh, I think the ribs there also, their, their baby backs are also excellent. So you get the pastrami every day or is? Every day. Okay. Oh, pastrami that's every day. Yeah. That's huge. Okay. So then, so that's, so if you, if you have, if you come into town, you're staying downtown a day trip like that. Now, if you come into town, say if you're planning, say you come in on a Friday and you have Saturday and Sunday, you leave Sunday night, what would you, like say you were planning a trip to Chicago, how would, what would you do? And, and we're talking just barbecue, right? Just barbecue and maybe smoked meats, maybe a pastrami or a French dip or Chicago beef. Sure. Yeah. A couple of places. Okay. So I would start, uh, downtown, after you go to Green Street Smoked Meats for your pastrami, just go a few blocks away to the Chicago French Market. Okay. And that's where they have a place called Fumare Meats. And they've been in the market for several years. And he does a Montreal-style smoked meat, oh. which I think is is incredible. Uh, served on simple rye bread with yellow mustard. And it's right downtown. So that would be a must for lunch. That's I think that's a lunch only. They don't open very late. Okay. Um, in fact, I sent... Um, uh, Matthew Odom there from uh, Austin, mm -hmm. uh, his paper, and he was happy he did. It was very good. So you've got two pastrami's right near each other. Another pastrami, kind of in a funky neighborhood called Humboldt Park, is called Cafe Marie 
Jean. Okay. And they're sort of, they do kind of French Canadian. And he does a very nice style Montreal smoked meat as well. Um, also does great charcuterie and bakes his own bread. And it's, in, again, kind of a funky neighborhood. That's cool. But it's really worth the trip. Cafe Marie Jean, um, former chef from Lula in Chicago, which has a lot of street cred. Mm-hmm. Um, I, in addition to those other barbecue places I mentioned, you've got the Smoke Mothership, which is up off the highway on the way to or from O'Hare. Uh, it's right off the highway, and that's where you want to go to get kind of their whole menu. Uh, but certainly brisket, sliced brisket, chopped brisket is what you need to order there for sure. I, I think also if you're an aficionado and you're in Chicago for like a day or two, I think you've got to go south side. Uh, Kevin Pang wrote about this in Savour magazine recently, about the, the aquarium-style smokers, mm-hmm. which are these you know, gla- plexiglass on the outside, you can slide, and then a, a, a one long grate, and then underneath that is all the wood. Mm-hmm. And they're constantly hosing down the, the flare-ups because you, that's just how you control your smoke and your heat. Um, there are a few places on the south side doing it. I know Lem's on 75th Street is about to reopen. I know there's a um, Uncle John's, which shares space with a Dat Donut at the corner of 83rd and Cottage Grove. Oh, perfect. It's really southeast side. Um, you could take the red line train down to 79th Street and then just jump in a lift, lift and do like an eight-minute ride over there probably. Perfect. That would make sense. But I think I think it's important to see that. You know, Barbara Ann's, I, I think, is closed. So I, I would say Uncle John's on, on 83rd or uh, Lem's on 75th. And going to those places, they would sort of get the history of Chicago barbecue. They get a chance to taste the history. That really is the history, yeah, of course, because the Great Migration, you know, blacks settled in on the south side of Chicago first in Kenwood and Bronzeville, and that is really where they brought these traditions from Mississippi, from Arkansas, um, in terms of how they smoke meats. And a lot of the, the, the smoking down there is with rib tips and links, and yeah, <laughs> the tips and links are kind of the order. I mean, you can get a whole, you can get a full slab, but it's mostly tips and links because the the less expensive. And uh, remember, they always come with sauce on it. So I always say sauce on the side. Okay, good tip. A couple of slices of white bread they put on top of that, and then the fries go on top of that. Does that come in a clam, like a clamshell? Like, is that how usually it's they... in the clamshell? Okay, excellent. Well, that's <laughs> so it's filled in the clamshell would be tips, links, sauce, white bread, fries, and you get sauce on the side. Always get sauce on the side. Yeah, I think. The, the traditional Southside Chicago, well, the traditional Chicago sauce, I think, is just too sweet. I think mm-hmm. there's sugar and it's, t- it's tomato and it's it's just too sweet. Like if you um, – Famous Dave's, I think, came from the Chicago area and that sauce is just so sweet. Extremely sweet, yes. <laughs> oh, and then if, if Chicago – like a Chicago beef sandwich, are there a couple places that you could recommend really quick? Because I know that people that love barbecue, people love smoked meat, love that too. Sure. I mean I think the best beef um, hands down is at Johnny's. And I will argue this until I'm, my, I'm in my grave. I think um, Frank Stampinato, who runs the stand with his father-in-law, Johnny Ardo, they've been there since 61. Uh, you can see some real characters in line. I mean, guys in track suits. It's a little bit of that part. Elmwood Park is kind of old mafia still. Okay. And it's old school Italian. Um, the beef is just consistent. You always, of course, the order is a beef, sweet, hot, juicy. Okay. That means. The beef with sweet peppers, uh, hot jardinier, uh, dipped in the jus. You got to get it dunked. Oh, that sounds so and good. <laughs> you can eat it leaning, you know, on a counter uh, with your feet back, so you don't drip over yourself. Mm-hmm. Or the picnic tables. You must get a lemon ice because the lemon ice there is fantastic. It's, it's just as smooth as silk. Uh, that's my favorite beef place. It's a little bit of a schlep, but you can take the Green Line west out of the Loop uh, to Oak Park, okay. and then you get off at Harlem. And you jump in a lift. It's a $6 lift to get there. Oh, that's perfect. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I just want to give people, I know that people ask a lot, and I, I wanted to make sure that uh, they knew where, where to go. And uh, it's because sometimes, you know, you can use Yelp. You could use a lot of different resources, but it's better I mean, to hear it from you. I don't use Yelp. Talk to the experts. I agree. I agree completely. Well, ha- have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, Steve. You too. Take Bye. care, Kevin. Thank you so yeah. much.